603-335-1417. We're underway. Puck has been dropped and it ends up behind the Wildcat net, which is to our left in the opening period. Jason Salvaggio will chip it and get it out to center ice in front of the UNH bench to the far side of the rink. Stevens gets to it for Northeastern and across comes Dylan Secura on the right wing. He holds there, whips it across the way. Davies. Davies works it. His shot from the short side denied by Taroni. One of the guys that Rob Rundick told you about, Pete, Jeremy Davies, a freshman defenseman trying to make something happen early. Yeah, and he does make something happen. Sees that opening there and probably wants the shot back and try to maybe go five hole. That looked like it was the only opening that uh, Danny Taroni gave him. Davies has it in the defensive zone now for Northeastern, looking to break out in transition. Adam Gaudet, second line center, gets to the Wildcat line, and that's where Dylan Mallard takes the puck away. Great to have Dylan back on the ice for the Wildcats. Grasso, Van Riemsdyk, and Blackburn, the freshman line now on the ice for Coach Humilly. A minute into this one. Head coach of Northeastern is Jim Madigan, assisted by Jerry Keith, Jason Smith, and volunteer assistant Ed Walsh. And, of course, Coach Humilly has associate head coaches Glenn Stewart and Mike Souza behind the bench with him. Pocket center ice, Shea will back it out to the northeastern line, and they will punch it into the Wildcat and deep right corner, then the Huskies go for a change. It's Van Riemsdyk along the far boards, defensive zone. Diagonal feed, center ice gets under the stick of Grasso. Grasso comes across, then has it poked off his stick by Eric Williams. The other way comes the Huskies into the Wildcat zone. Centering feed came, and that was fanned on the shot as Shea hit the centering pass to Owens. Owens missed it off the far side. Pass into the right circle intended for Shule, broken up by the Wildcats. Iserman will play it behind his own net. Dylan Chanter gets to it in the near side. Chanter's paired with Matt Dawson tonight. Anthony Wise, Dylan Maller, and then Matthias Cleland, Cameron Marks. Now the Dawson. Wildcats have a, having a tough time getting things going on the breakout here against Northeastern, who... Seems to have adapted to the big sheet. This might be the first time they've played on a big sheet this year. Well, Northeastern has had the better of the Wildcats recently. They've won three straight in the series. There's a lead pass looking for Aaron Azarian. Too far for him, so it's on to Trevor Owens. Dick. Owens leads it ahead for Brendan Collier. Collier flips into the zone, then takes a check from Iserman along the far boards. Cleland gets to it. Backhand pass to Iserman. His centering attempt intercepted by Jamison right around mid-ice. Plays off the far dasher where Vela picks it up to Matias Cleland, coming out of his own zone. Cleland flips it to the near corner. Jamie Hill gives Chase on the four check, trying to work around Davies. Davies keeps it away from Hill, works it to the far corner along the left side. Backing up with it just a bit more is Ryan Rosenthal, fourth line right wing senior for Northeastern. No score, three minutes in. No whistle so far. Huskies get it into the Wildcat end. Pond works around Marks, but now Marks has him pinned up against the boards in the left corner. Frankie Seffel is there, but he lost an edge. And this is an opportunity for Rosenthal along the half boards. They work it to the far point, Garrett Cockrell. Cockrell hits it off the kick plate behind the net, and the ricochet comes out to the near wall. There's Justin Fergona. Rink wide pass, hits Jamie Hill. Hill comes across in the left wing, only to lose it to Cockrell. Cockrell's long pass comes to Ashton Reese. Zach Ashton Reese, a forehand bid, and that goes wide. He was coming in from the left side, had Dylan Maller checking him. Maller, long headman pass, hits Kelleher. Coming in the zone, left wing. Drops back, Savaggio, one-timer, kick save, Ryan Ruck. Rebound, goes out to the left point. Savaggio racing over to keep it in. But that's where it's taken away by Northeastern's John Stevens, the captain, able to glide it to the Wildcat end, but that's Wise moving it near side, Maller. Yeah, best chance of the uh, evening so far for the Wildcats. That little drop pass by Keller and a big blast, saved by Ruck. Shakura goes behind his own net, breaks out the other side. McNicholas tracks after him along the far wall. Kelleher on the four check. Forcing Northeastern to back it up again with Ryan Shea, talented freshman defenseman. Moves it to Garrett Sasir. Sasir looking along the left side, and he's able to connect. And up the ice, Stevens. Stevens with Ashton Reese. His shot comes in. Ashton Reese open. He shoots, and he scores. Taroni was out of position, and Ashton Reese with his 20th goal of the season goes top right corner. Huskies lead 1-0 here with 15.42 left in the first. All right, well, that was a little gimme play there. I think what happened is, I don't know if we'll be able to see it on the replay, it looked like Danny Taroni may have stepped on a loose strap and fallen down out of the crease. As we see the replay, he's way out of the crease. Awkwardly fell. It looked like he might have had a strap actually go under his skate and somehow or cut in a rut down there or somehow and fell awkwardly. He's okay. He's not injured, but that left the net wide open. The last guy you need to have bad luck against is Zach 
Ashton Reach because he will make you pay. And so Northeastern has the one nothing lead, looking for more off the faceoff. It's Williams above the right circle. He puts in a tester. Taroni makes the stop and covers for a quick whistle. 15-18 to go in the first. Northeastern one, UNH nothing. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. UNH trailing 1-0, five minutes in to the opening period. Cats have the puck on the northeastern side of the ice. Top of the left circle, Van Reems like a quick snapper, but that's gloved by Ruck. And it brings a face off with 14.49 to go here in the opening stanza. Yeah, it's hard work by Grasso and Blackburn down low and into the corner to win that battle. And nice little pass out there by uh, Grasso right on the stick of Van Reems like who was lined up for a nice wrist shot. Might be one of those areas. I want to see Brendan wind up with a big slap shot. Put some juice behind it. It's pretty easy save for Ruck, but a nice play, though. Good combination. All right, face off to the right of Ruck. Cats battle as Nazarian nearly came out with it, but it's sent the other way. Nazarian was supposed to do the face off against Matt Philippe, who was called out of the circle. Those two won two Super 8 championships together at Malden Catholic in 2013 2014, and they almost had a face off in the near side. Philippe. Gets a stick on the puck and pushes it to center ice, but that's where Maller has it. His head man pass finds Nazarian. He'll deal it left to Iserman. Iserman skates to the goal line extended left corner. Nazarian joins the play, and he's pressed up against the boards by Collier. Still battles along the half boards. It's played deeper in the northeastern zone behind Ruck. And on the near side, getting a two-hand shove, Eiserman's able to throw Davies down, but the puck comes into the Wildcat end. Here's Davies' left wing. His centering pass goes too wide and comes out to Jamie Hill. Transition give to Chanter. Chanter gains the line right wing. Chanter right circle. Shot and a save made. Rebound is loose to the right of Ruck. And there'll be no follow-up as it's cleared off the glass near side by Davies. Yeah, Brendan Collier did a nice job of tying up Jamie Hill who had his eyes wide open looking to bury the rebound. Cephalou in the far corner of his own zone. Works it near side. Dawson. Dawson along the near wall left, Fregona. Fregona goes rink wide, plays off the dasher. Hill gets it as he comes into the northeastern zone. Drops it back to Cephalou, left wing. Cephalou, bottom of the circle. Hits the brakes as he takes a hit from Shea. Puck being fought for as Fregona along the right boards. Can't get it away from Pond, and the Huskies have back at center ice with a 1-0 lead. 13-15 to go first period. The goal scored by Zach Aston Reese at 4-18, assisted by Stevens and Sasir. Taroni comes out of his crease, thought about playing the puck, instead let Chanter get to it. Hill and Cephalou a two-man game in the UNH zone. They'll back it up deeper. It's Dawson near side. His pass intercepted just outside the cat line. Northeastern would have been offside, so it's backpedaled by Secura. And it's Shea near side from his own blue line, in front of his own bench, gives to Stevens. Stevens across the line, finds Aston Reese. Aston Reese centering pass, shot at a save made by Taroni. The feed came to Secura from Aston Reese, and it wasn't much on the shot. Taroni gliding to his left made the easy stop. No, but the fine hands of Aston Reese with a nice little feather pass, flipped it over there, put it right there in a place where Secura could skate right into it. Oh, that's some good teamwork right there. Danny Taroni read it well, though. There's a little flick that was intended to go up over the shoulder of Danny Taroni was actually stopped. Huskies win the faceoff. One timer up top. Getting in the way, though, is Salvaggio to block the blast from Eric Williams. Well, the goal before Aston Reese scored tonight, he was the first player to have 19 goals in his first 20 games since Johnny Gaudreau in 2014, and he won the Hopi Baker that year. Kelleher is a Hopi Baker candidate for the Wildcats, the two of the nation's top going head-to-head. -head. Kelleher carried the puck to the northeastern zone. Lost it there, and now Aston Reese leads the break the other way. Gives to Williams. Williams angles right, comes in the zone. Perfect centering feed, a shot, and a score as John Stevens finishes it. And it's 2-0 Huskies with 12-11 to go in the opening period. Yeah, the passing uh, passing lane was just barely there. Well, it was a nice, uh, nice feed across ice. As John Stevens just poked it home, a little deflection in there. Sophomore Eric Williams really made yeah. that play, didn't he, Pete? 
He certainly did going down, veering down to the right wing side, just kind of spread the defense out. And, uh, you know, in that situation, you've got to be disciplined to stay on the weak side guy. And all it takes is a split second to fall asleep there, and that's all the space that uh, Northeastern needed to make that play. It's Blackburn, a pass, and a score! Brendan Van Riemsdyk from the left circle. Instant response for the Wildcats. At 7.59 of the first, it's now Northeastern 2 and UNH 1. Well, that's uh, that's the way to answer a goal against right there. Get the puck down the ice, a couple of good passes. And I didn't think there was much of an angle for Brendan Van Riemsdyk to shoot, but he's got the great hands there and has the good vision and sees an opening and gets it by Ruck, and the Wildcats right back in this game. Nice, uh, that's one of the, another cross-ice pass that just eluded the defenseman's stick. Garrett Cockerell was there and couldn't reach that pass, but Reemsdyke did, and he put it home. The fish has been scooped off the ice, courtesy of Enviro Vantage, serving New England for over 25 years. Enviro Vantage, your one-stop resource for environmental cleanup, and a proud to be an official partner of Wildcat Sports. Learn more at EnviroVantage.com. Blackburn comes into the northeastern zone again after feeding the third straight game that Brendan Van Reemsdyke has netted a goal. So Van Reemsdyke starting to come alive. He has five goals. Six assists now for Blackburn. Two to one in favor of Northeastern. We're expecting a high scoring type of game and that's how it's developing here with 11.25 remaining in the opening period. And the Huskies look to break out, pass them right to left and here they come. And it's Gaudette for the Wildcat zone. Drop off to Davies, try to go across Dawson but Matt Dawson a stick check to knock it away. Iserman behind his own goal line to the right of Taroni. Loses the puck back to Gaudette. Gaudette centering feed, but reaching for it. Nazarian does enough to push it across the line. Now it's controlled by Dawson, near side of the defensive zone, Devella at center. Leads a streaking Nazarian who speeds into the Husky zone right side. He backhands one through the crease. Ruck got a piece. Eiserman leaves it to the point, clearly. Near point, Marks throws one in front, redirected by Vela behind the net. Eiserman goes after it, so does Nazarian. Back to Cleland, a slap shot. That one got stopped by Ruck, might have been deflected. Thrown back in front by Cleland, but this intercepted by Shea. Here the other way, Philippe. Philippe gains the line left wing. Works around Marks, trying to turn the corner. That's where Cleland gets to it. And he'll bring it to center ice. Shea at the red line, collects and then dumps. Huskies bring on some new skaters. Marks for UNH, breaks out along the left side and starts to skate up ice. And he'll backhand it in, just out of the reach of Ruck. As the Cats bring in some new skaters. We're about halfway through the first, it's two to one. In favor of Northeastern, Van Riemsdyk's goal assist to Blackburn and Maller. Maller gets the secondary helper for the senior, his seventh assist of the year. Maller behind the net, battling for the puck as it goes near the front of the cage as Davies tried to get in front, but it's taken away by Jamie Hill. Hill comes across the way at two on one. His pass across the way is denied by the sliding Eric Williams, who took away the angle. A bouncing puck in the low slot, dangerous territory for Northeastern, but Tanner Pond got to it, works it near side, big hit by Cephalou, and he's going to the box. 9.35 to go in the first, Northeastern 2, UNH 1, Cats about to go in the shorthand. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. I'll throw a read in there, Peter. Hey, I got to do this, huh? Ice, ice maintenance, good. Yeah. Fans, the Buyers Beware campaign from the New Hampshire Division of Liquor Enforcement wants to remind you that keeping alcohol out of young people's hands is every adult's responsibility. New Hampshire retailers work hard at checking IDs but can't stop underage drinking by themselves. If you're approached to buy alcohol for a minor, say no. Stay on the right path. Protect New Hampshire's youth by keeping them alcohol-free. Visit therongpath.org for more information. Some big promotions coming up at the Whittemore Center that we'll tell you about more in detail in the coming weeks. But remember these dates. Saturday, January 28th, 7 o'clock game against Providence. It's shirt off your back day where... The Wildcats wear some special uniforms during warm-ups, and fans will have a chance to auction to take those jerseys home. Plus, there'll be free T-shirts given out for the I Believe in UNH and 5,000 shaker sticks, Peter. The atmosphere in here with those shaker sticks will be like nothing else. All right, UNHWildcats.com for more. Northeastern on the power play for the first time as Frankie Cephalou grabbed a seat 
in the box. It's already 2-1 to one Northeastern. Cockrell has it at the left point. Veers to the center point. Works it along the right wing. Held over there by Shakura. Stevens, top side left. Drops it down to Gilmore. Gilmore, diagonal pass out high. Faking the slapper was Cockrell. Secure on the right side. Into the faceoff circle. Try to wrist shot. Blocked by Cleland. Into the right wing corner. It's Aston Reese. Tried to move out to center, but it was broken up by Kelleher. And then McNicholas leads Kelleher in the shorthand. Kelleher into the northeastern zone. Was taken down by Aston Reese. Wildcat fans wanted the call. Gaudette gains it back for Northeast. Across the way. One timer goes wide. As that was a forehand bid from Secura. Stevens along the left point, moves towards the slot. Kelleher was in his way, and then McNicholas able to clear it. There you go, that a little extra clear. That one, uh, Kelleher and McNicholas can get off the ice. Previous one, Kelleher dumped down to the ice, and he wasn't able to get off. Still 50 seconds left on this Northeastern power play. It's Davies coming to the Wildcat zone left side. Drop off pass, Felipe lost the handle, and ends up right in the crease. Wise kicked it more underneath Dandy Taroni, who had covered up, and so we have a faceoff with... 8.19 to go in the first. Two to one Huskies and 45 seconds remaining on the Cephalou penalty. Cephalou was called for roughing at 10.25. Yeah, it could have been roughing or boarding or elbowing, any of those. A Northeastern, they have a 22.6% power play efficiency, 28 power play goals. Most of those coming in uh, non league competition. Cats off the faceoff. Sabaggio got it on his stick deep in the left corner and he'll fire it down the ice, and this makes Northeastern. Have to regroup. Shea leaves it back deeper and up the ice. Comes Williams. Williams hits the brakes at the right point, and the Husky set up. Still 20 seconds of power play time. Williams' pass was errant, and it's back to center ice. That'll burn off some precious seconds on this man advantage. Shea now speeds across the Wildcat line to Davies. Davies at the center point. Works it down left side. Standing on it with Shule, and it's taken away by Cam Marks, and Marks will use the near side boards to send it down. That was interesting behind the play. Matthias Cleland got all tangled up with Ryan Shea, and Ryan Shea, I think, said something to John Gravelis, and Gravelis just kind of gave it back to him, said, get up, freshman, get on your skates. <laughs> 7.20 to go in the first. It's 2-1 to one Northeastern, but the Wildcats have scored the last goal and then killed off a penalty, so maybe some momentum on their side. Williams, right point, near side, Sasir. Tried to throw one in. Grasso got a stick on it. Redirected to the near boards. And it's backhanded deeper by Kirker. Grabbed in the right corner. Skating along on the cycle is Collier. Collier with Gaudette. Blackburn takes it away along the near boards. Loses it again. It's loose in the Wildcat zone between the circles. And Van Riemsdyk gets to it. He's got Blackburn and a two-on-two. -two. Van Riemsdyk across the northeastern line. Leaves for Blackburn. But Blackburn has it taken away by Trevor Owens. Owens will send it in from just outside the line. Stick save to Roney. Chanter will scoop it up and go behind the net and break out. Nearly lost it as there was a stick check made. And now a whistle as it's out of play with 6.32 left in the second period. 2-1 in favor of Northeastern. It looks like we're going to have a center ice face off as it was ruled it deflected by Grasso. Boy, some uh, tough bumping going on out there in that, one of those last breakouts there. Grasso got into it. Well, the Husky and another Wildcat went down to the ice. That was when uh, Van Riemsdyk tried the little drop pass to Blackburn. And really, we had too many guys way behind the line still trying to untangle themselves. Cats just needed to dump the puck in and play a little four-checking game. Cleland from just inside the red line tried to throw one in. Aston Reese got a piece. Zach Aston Reese already has a goal and an assist in this one for Northeastern. Came in as a uh, true star. He and Kelleher. The two players to watch for offensive purposes, but it was Van Riemsdyk who had the Wildcat goal. Secura comes into the Wildcat end, looking for Aston Reese. He took a big swipe but missed on a one-timer, bottom of the left circle. Still battles on the forecheck, only to lose it to Cleland. Cleland gives ahead Salvaggio. Salvaggio at center ice, hounded from behind by Secura, had to give it up to McNicholas. Marks in his own end, works it to McNicholas, or make it Cleland at center. He'll flip it into the zone, gloved down by Davies. Right onto the stick of Aston Reese. Backhand feed perfectly finds Secura coming across the Wildcat line. Marks forces him to the near half wall. At the point, Cockerell chips it forward behind the cat net. That's where Cleland surveys. The captain, long pass ahead, Kelleher near side. He'll go rink wide to McNicholas. McNicholas gloves it down at the northeastern line. 
and flips it over the boards. 5.27 left in the first, Northeastern 2, UNH 1. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Five oh five to go, first period. Northeastern on top of UNH, 2-1. Mike Murphy, Pete Webster back at the Whittemore Center. First of two this weekend between these two teams. They go to Fenway Park for a 5 o'clock game on Saturday. That's right, 5 o'clock. It's changed from its original start time. Cats in transition, Steph Lou to Hill. Hill leaves for Fergona, left wing. Fergona has it on his forehand. Look to get to the point. His pass tipped off the stick, or skate rather, of Kirker. And that's enough for Northeastern to bring it to center ice. Loose puck there being batted around right near the Northeastern bench. Huskies will control on their own end. Sasir at the left faceoff circle. Gets some assistance from Williams. Williams who assisted on the Stevens goal earlier in this first period. Wildcats send it to the Northeastern end and Sasir will have to retreat behind his own net as Nazarian gave chase. Williams now on it along the right side of the D looking for Philippe. Ran into Chanter. Stolen away by Vela. And Vela will play it into the right wing corner where Sasir gets back after it. Now play has gotten a little rough here going down towards the end of the first period. I don't know if the ice might be a little bit soft out there with the warm temperatures and it's kind of warm in here tonight. Might be a little chippy down there. A lot of, a lot of guys have fallen and a lot of uh, errant passes. Philippe tried to break into the Wildcat zone left wing only to have Marks deny him with a stick check. Here's Iserman looking to trudge up ice. His pass hit off the heel of Nazarian. And so it goes back to the Wildcat end. Eiserman calls for the puck at his own line and leaves it for Dawson. Dawson from the red line throws one in right into the chest of Ryan Ruck, who has to hold on. You know, Ruck's a sophomore. Last year, he set what is an all-time Hockey East record, six postseason wins on the Huskies' magical ride to the Hockey East Championship. And when these two teams played a year ago, much like this year, no one thought Northeastern was going to the Hockey East Championship. They turned it up a notch when the calendar changed. Yeah, they started with a with a win right here in the Whittemore Center, I think, by a score of four to two, and that kind of put them on a good path toward victory in Hockey East. Yeah, Wildcats having a fine season in Hockey East at five, two, and one, and they remember what happened last year. So two big points on the line here tonight. Three fifteen to go in the first. UNH trailing it two to one. Cleveland in his own zone. Goes behind the goal line and wraps it to the near side. That's where he's able to hit Grasso. Grasso too far for Blackburn, but on the stick of Van Riemsdyk. His shot into the corner took a weird bounce. Ends up behind the goal. Battle along the kick plate with Blackburn taking it away. Liam Blackburn to the right hash marks. Leaves for Maller along the half wall. Maller to the goal line extended. Wrapped up by Cockrell. Tried to play it out in front, but it's batted right back toward him. Secura has it. Spins away from Grasso's forward check. Now he runs into Blackburn. And good stick handling by Secura as he waits for Jeremy Davies. Davies lead pass, finds Aston Reese into the Wildcats on forehand shot. He was aiming for the upper right corner but missed wide. Off the carom, it's Savaggio, cross ice looking for Maller. Maller had to back up to retrieve it. Looks for Wise. Wise ahead to Kelleher, tried to chip it forward, didn't have anything on it, so it's stolen right back by Adam Gaudet. Gaudet. At center ice with the pass. Comes to Shul. Unsettled puck spinning on its edge into the left wing corner of the northeastern attack zone. Kelleher on the back check gets to it. McNicholas along the half wall. Holds, moves it to center ice. Kelleher looking to work around to Owens. Unsuccessful at the northeastern line. 150 and counting in this opening period. 2-1 to one northeastern. Well, the Wildcats got a little different matchup with their first line. They put out another line against Northeastern's top line. So here are the Wildcats going against the second line of Northeastern. Although Northeastern's second line has bottled up the Kelleher line pretty well in this shift. Owens comes out of the zone looking for the diagonal feed to the right. Philippe gets to it in the Wildcats zone. Left side wide open one timer. That goes wide as Sam Kirker was off the target with it. Kirker goes after it along the end boards. Cleland able to pin him up. 
And it works till Silvaggio on the far left, and he'll lift it high in the air over by the penalty box area. Makes the Huskies back up, and the Cats go for a quick line change here with a minute 10 to go before our first intermission. It's Eiserman at center ice. Eiserman comes across right side. He's got Vela looking to get Vela in front. He got a piece of it with his stick, but couldn't put it on net. That would have been threading a needle. Eiserman behind the net again, gives to Vela from the far post, tried to stuff it in, shot save, and then Ruck gets the whistle on a faceoff with 57 seconds left here in the first. Uh, good uh, combination there with Eisman and, and Vela. I think Vela, if he could have gotten any kind of leverage on that, and the angle he came out from behind the net, you really only have the leverage to actually keep it on the ice, but uh, he had Ruck down a little bit and could have flicked it up and over him, but not enough space there to get that leverage. Good forechecking work by the Cats. During that break, Shane Eisman ended up on the high def video board, his father in law enforcement, and tonight being first responders night, a nice message to thank all those first responders. Marcus Vela tries to break into the northeastern zone, but checked away by Shea. Two to one Huskies trying to go into the locker room with the lead after grabbing the two early goals. Wildcats will turn things around later in the period, but have yet to net the equalizer. Here the Huskies come back three on three. Across the line, Aston Reese leaves it for Secura. All on the right side, Cleland able to slow him down. It's along the far boards. Kept in and played deeper by Sasir. In the right corner, Cleland battles. He's joined by Nazarian. Aaron Nazarian looking to come out. Nice pass to Vela. Vela across the northeastern line. His wrister is blocked. Blocked by Shea. Under 10 seconds left. See if Northeastern can get one last rush. Secura plays it in front to Gaudet. But Taroni was able to slide over and break it up. And that's the end of the first period. End-to-end action. Excitement here in Northeastern. Based on two early goals, Zach Aston Reese and John Stevens holds the lead. It's 2-1 after one. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.
For the students, it's January 27th against Providence. That's a 7 o'clock game, and the Friars are back for the 28th 
Also a 7 o'clock game, a shirt after your back night. Find out more on UNH Family Hockey Night, unhwildcats.com, or call 603-862-4000. We're underway in period number two. Huskies two, Wildcats one. Aston Reese flips a bouncing puck that Taroni will decide to glove with his right hand as it was about two bounces of the puck away from the crease, but he figured he'd hold on to it and let the faceoff take place. Uh, you know, uh, the next time we'll be back here, it's going to start a three-game home span. Providence, Providence, and Boston College, then on the road for uh, four critical games. Now we talked Northeastern's 1-7-2 and two in the league. Every loss they've had in Hockey East has come to a ranked team. Yeah, and that's the kind of daunting schedule that the Wildcats will face here in the second half. And it's a battle here so far. First this weekend between these two squads. Cleveland with a shot into the boards to take John Stevens out behind the Wildcat goal line to the left of Taroni. Blackburn will back check, work it to Van Riemsdyk. Those two combined on the one UNH goal. For third straight game that Brendan Van Riemsdyk has scored as he's starting to find his stride. Blackburn has to still battle in the defensive zone and Northeastern was at the end of a shift so they peel off and it's grass all on the far boards and he'll leave it back. So it's center ice going right through the Wildcat head logo. Cameron Marks hustles to it and then chips it into the Northeastern zone so the Cats can make their line change. Now the Wildcats came out with their freshman line against the top line of Northeastern. They're both off the ice and the Cats first line is now out there. It's Shule on the near side. Patrick Shule, second line right wing, cross ice pass, makes the connection. And goes behind the Wildcat net, who's sent in by Shule. Salagio and Wise on the near side. Wise goes across from left to right. Kelleher plays the carom, comes into the Northeastern zone right side, tries a crossover move against Shea. He gets spilled to the ice and slides into the boards. He's okay, and the Huskies will take the puck in transition. Shule to center ice. Gaudet working by Salvaggio. Wise able to deny his side. Here's a sharp angle shot from the goal line. Extended a slapper that was thrown in by Lincoln Griffin. Doesn't make it on net, and the Wildcats will come out in transition. Kelleher across the northeastern line, looking for Nick Nicholas in the right circle. But Griffin got there first and plays it to center. Stretch pass intended for Sam Kirker. Kirker couldn't control at the Wildcat blue line. And yep. it goes back to the Husky zone. Two times down the right wing side, Tyler Kelleher uh, found himself with Ryan Shea, the freshman defenseman, being up on him. And Tyler had a hard time getting around him or getting the puck through him. Kirker goes into the right corner of the Wildcat zone, looking to go behind the net, but Chanter stepped in the way and has the step, steal for the Wildcats. McNicholas along the near wall, works into the northeastern zone, but Sasir controls for the Huskies. The lead 2-1, two, two and a half minutes into the second. Kirker moves in right side, took a pass. A saucer feed came from left to right, but Collier's pass to Kirker, and then Eiserman broke it up. Long headman feed finds Nazarian. Coming across left side from the hash mark. Shot blocked by Williams. Williams gives to Rosenthal. Huskies from left to right transition. Pond across the line right wing. Hits the brakes along the goal line extended. Cleland gets to it. Backhands it off the near boards for Eiserman, and Eiserman gets out to center ice. Philippe on the back check steals it right back. Yeah, nice back check by Philippe. That wins the puck right back, and the Wildcats can't get it in deep. Williams, left side of his own zone. Diagonal feed Owens at the red line. Vela able to take it away. A three-on-one, perhaps. Vela goes across the way. Hill, Hill plays it in front. Nazarian was moving in, but it was just behind him. Well, off the turnover, the Wildcats threaten. Do not score. It stays 2-1 to one Northeastern. Now, even though it was a three-on-one, the spacing wasn't the most opportune to make, a, make something really good happen out of that play. Jamie Hill, a running check that buries Tanner Pond, and the crowd oohs and ahs. Cleland, long outlet out of his own zone for Fregona just at the northeastern line. Poke checked away by Davies to center. Marks went back to it. It's taken away. Two-on-one developing. Ashton Reese, a one-timer save. Taroni. Ashton Reese took a great pass from Jamison and fired low. And the left pad of Danny Taroni keeps us a two-to-one game. Yeah, a little mix-up by the Wildcats out at center ice. Led to a two-on-one, and Danny Taroni bails out the Cats again. Here's Sakura from the far side trying to lift one to the near uh, far post, but knocked down by Taroni. There'll be another face-off with 15.58 remaining in the second period. Two-to-one, Northeastern. Goals in the first by Aston Reese, his 20th, and John Stevens, his third, gave Northeastern a two-nothing lead. But Brendan Van Riemsdyk from Blackburn and Maller at 7.59 of the first. That's why we're at 2-1 now. Why don't you have to keep an eye on Dylan Secura. He has wheels to go with a crafty stick. Stevens wins the faceoff in the left corner of the UNH zone. Tried to backhand to the point, and that's where Grasso has the theft. 
Grasso to Van Riemsdyk, and the Cats are offside. 15.46 to go in the second, 2-1 to one Huskies. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Adam Gaudet and Shule coming to the Wildcat zone. Shule shot from the right circle, saved Taroni. Puck goes behind the net. Shule pounces on it, backhands it out in front, and there's a takedown and a whistle. And the Wildcats about to go in the shorthand again, it appears. Yeah, it's Liam Blackburn that's going to get called for tripping as Northeastern was trying to pull the puck out from behind uh, the Wildcat net. Liam had his stick down in the skates of the Husky player. Liam's going to sit down here in critical spot here as we're not quite five minutes into the second period. Northeastern are looking to regain the two-goal lead. Four, oh. yeah, 440 the time of the penalty, second power play for Northeastern. To the right of Taroni. Northeastern wins the draw but can't keep in the zone. A soft pass was played out to the point, but it skipped over the stick of Cockerell, and he'll come all the way back to his own end. So Blackburn called for tripping. He sits, and Northeastern looks to build on a 2-1 lead. Into the zone is Secura. You just talked about his wheels, and he fired one wide on the near side. Kelleher tried to take away and race the other way, only to see Stevens steal it right back. Secura, right half wall, moves into the circle, curls it back to the point. Stevens. Stevens throws one in front, but it goes all the way through, and Taroni makes the stop, hangs on. Yeah, there was a screen uh, down in front by Zach Aston Reese, but he... Didn't get uh, into the eyes of Danny Taroni enough. Danny saw it, made the belly save. Now what's really impressive about the Northeastern squad is when the Wildcats lose the puck, Northeastern takes over. They are pushing it up ice really quickly. There's no hesitation to get the puck out of the zone or get it up ice. They set up in the power play in the Wildcat side of the ice. It's Aston Reese, goal line extended, works at top of the right circle, Secura. Cockerell has it in the center slot, throws one. It's bouncing around in the low slot. Chopped at by Vela once, chopped at twice, can't clear. Secura settles it down at the edge of the right circle near the hash mark. Plays it to the high slot, held there for a moment. Huskies are patient with a minute to go on this power play still. Stevens to Cockerell, back to Stevens. One-timer blocked by Vela. He spins around, can't find it. Batted around, Secura still handles. Along the right wing, Secura angles towards the net, throws one right through, bouncing on the, on the back door. Vela can't clear on his backhand, but here's a shot and a score. Zach Ashton Reese finds the back of the net for his second goal of the night. This one on the power play, and Northeastern ups its lead to 3 1 with 13.58 to go in the second. Now, bad fortune bites the Wildcats again. Marcus Vela actually had the puck right on his backhand and tried to. Flick the puck out, but a very smart play by John Stevens, who was playing out at the point, kept the puck, and he snuck in on uh, on Vela, and uh, yeah, he kept the puck in the zone, and it ends up in the back of the net. And about a second and a half later, Vela was actually kind of playing on one foot. He had blocked a shot with his leg, and it uh, looked like that stung. So he was there on one foot, basically. Van Reems like a steal in the northeastern zone, right wing, down low, Grasso behind the net. Grasso takes a hit from Shea and loses the puck as Collier comes out with it. On the outlet pass, Matt Philippe. Philippe broken up at the Wildcat line by Maller, so here's Blackburn. Blackburn across the blue line right wing, being trailed by three Huskies. He backhands it deeper in the zone. Collier will get there. Aston Reese has three points on the night, two goals and assist. Stevens, who made that big play, as Pete described, he has his third point, a goal and two helpers. And the Huskies have their second two-goal lead of the night at 3-1 with 13-10 to go. In the second period, puck being battled around the near post near Taroni. It's forced out to the far wall. Cephalou there. Plays it behind the net. Maller. Maller surveys. Flips one that glances off the stick of Cephalou. He'll play it ahead to Grasso. Fake the slap shot right side. Now a sharp angle shot. Save made and then held on by Ryan Ruck. That was the end of Grasso's shift there. And he didn't know if he should dump it in. And gave a little fake down the right wing side as... If he was going to take a slap shot, and that kind of froze the D a little bit and gave him some space to 
Carry it around and farther down towards the corner. Try a tough angle shot there, but a save by Ruck. Patrick Grasso is just on the video board with his father, a police officer as well, thanking him and all the first responders for keeping us safe on this first responders night at the Whittemore Center. I think we've had a lot of um, players here whose uh, fathers, mothers have been uh, police officers or state police. Remember Patrick Foley, three-year captain of the Wildcats. His father was high up in the rankings. They're like a colonel in the, the Mass State Police. And he's following in his yeah. footsteps. He's now a, right, yeah. an officer of the law, a former yeah. coach at Northeastern, and we'll see him at the Frozen Fenway game. There's some issues with the ice in the northeastern crease that leads to a timeout here. And I think we're about ready to resume play with a face-off to the left of Ryan Ruck. Catch win the draw. Quick snapper from Savaggio. Save made by Ruck as it came from the top of the right circle. There's a stick down. That was Owens, and he gets to it as the Huskies clear it. Marks gets to it. Right side of the D. Goes behind his own net. Plays it forward for Salvaggio. Salvaggio's pass behind McNicholas. Aston Reese took it away. He collides with Salvaggio and gets stood up. It's Kelleher who now stick handles. Kelleher skating away from Aston Reese. Aston Reese, though, does finally steal it. Then he lost an edge at the red line, and we'll get a whistle and a penalty coming up. We'll they're they're going to get Kelleher on it. Oh, boy. So the Wildcats are going the shorthand. Now Salvaggio exchanging some words. With Trevor Owens with 12.20 left, we'll take a timeout. Northeastern 3, UNH 1. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. I think Tyler was telling the referee to watch the scoreboard. Well, they're two of the most dynamic offensive players in the nation, but right now they're both in the penalty box, Peter. Yeah, I think you're going to get Keller for a hooking and uh, maybe an embellishment on uh, Ashton Reese. So four nope. on four hockey. Makes it wide open. Marcus Vela for the Wildcats across the northeastern line right wing. Slams on the brakes along the half boards. Works it down deeper for Nazarian right corner. Nazarian skates closer to the net. He's cut off by Davies and then lost his edge. He goes down. Puck still somewhere along the end boards. It squirts out on the near side to Gaudet. And Cockerell, the stretch pass to center ice, hits Secura. Secura veers left as he comes into the New Hampshire zone. Looking for the trailing Cockerell. Right side Davies in the circle. He tries to go across the way. Wise gets a stick on it, and the deflection goes out of play. Well, actually, officially, those penalties are going to go in. Uh, Kelleher for tripping, and Ashton Reese is going to get the hooking. So still a minute 18 left on those matching minors. 3-1 to one Northeastern, 11.38 to play. Second period, face off in the Wildcat zone to the right of Taroni. Still bouncing around that left circle. Marks can't handle it. Going behind the net, Philippe tried to wrap around to the near side, and Taroni was ready for it. He sealed off the post, and we'll have another draw. And Philippe's another one of the fine freshmen that Tim Madigan has brought in here to this Northeastern program. Local kid, Linfield Mass. He's got three goals, tries to wrap it around and beat the Wildcat defense on that play. Off the face off, Philippe has it. He and his area and high school teammates, they know each other well, won a couple of championships. Here's a strange bouncing puck off the glass, ended up in the crease. Taroni thought about holding it, then played it in front. Grasso trying to wrest it free. Huskies will come away with it along the right side. On the wing at Shea. He whirls, plays it into Philippe in the high slot. Looking to drop it down low and a pass for Stevens. Cats get the intercept. It's Grasso out of the Wildcat end. Grasso lines up and a drive from the blue line, gloved by Ryan Ruck. Well, that's a whole lot of energy behind that. The freshman just 5'7". Patrick Grasso winding up with a big slap shot right around the blue line. He was at the end of his shift a little bit, and that time he did release it. He's got a pretty darn good slap shot there. This face off to the left of Ruck, 10.58 remaining in the second, 38 seconds remaining on the penalties to Kelleher and Ashton Reitz. 
It's Maller from the point. He throws one in. Went high off the chest of Ruck. Rebound controlled by Northeastern. And they'll come out of their zone with Sakura. Sakura goes all the way to the Wildcat end before Maller seals them off along the left wing boards. Sakura still stick handles. Tried to play it in front. McNicholas got a piece. The Wildcats have a four on one if they can handle it. Salvaggio to McNicholas. McNicholas right circle in front. Salvaggio score! Jason Salvaggio from Michael McNicholas. And it's a 3-2 game with 10.28 left in the second. Well, as you were saying, Mike, it was a four on one. It didn't materialize, but the three on one certainly did. And the Wildcats got the good spacing. The defenseman played a little passively. It was actually the forward, Dylan Sakara, played passively. Didn't really take the shooter, didn't take the, the passer. And uh, the Wildcats made the perfect connection with the great pass by Michael McNicholas. Savaggio started in at center ice with a scrappy play to lead the break. The scrappy play brought to you by Direct Capital, a division of CIT Bank, where being scrappy is a core principle. Direct Capital making small business lending remarkable and a proud employer of UNH alumni. Learn more at directcapital.com slash UNH. It's a one goal game once again. Cats have yet to tie it up, but they uh, keep climbing closer. Salvaggio is 14th goal of the year. McNicholas is 14th assist as those two have been skating on that top line all year with Tyler Kelleher and Kelleher out of the box as is Zach Aston Reese under 10 minutes to play in the second period. Northeastern pushes the puck into the Wildcat zone on the end board. Cephalou chops at it in the corner. But getting there first are the Huskies. Aston Reese in the right circle to the slot. Broken up by Cephalou. Making Hill lead pass for Justin Fergona. Fergona, left wing, gives to Hill along the boards. Hill behind the net. Goes out to the far right side. To the point, Chanter. Here's a one-timer. And that's blocked by Aston Reese. Thrown in front by Dawson. This one also blocked down. And out the other way, Kirker to center ice. Aston Reese trying to return pass to Brendan Collier, but the Wildcats settle it down. Chanter, stretch pass, hits Fregona. Fregona comes across the line, but he's offside. 9-10 to go in the second. Northeastern 3, UNH 2. You're listening to Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Thank you. There. Yep. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Service Credit Union serves the UNH community. Visit our deposit taking ATMs at the WIT in the field house or at the new Wildcat Stadium branch. Learn how you can become a member at servicecu.org. We hope to see you dot later when the Wildcats and Huskies play. This coming Saturday, Fenway Park, Peter. We'll be up in the press box. Bring your binoculars, I'm told. I, uh, yes. <laughs> well, we've been there. You know, we uh, we did uh, the initial time UNH was there, the women's game, right? Wasn't it UNH versus Northeastern women's? Indeed. About seven, seven or eight, years. seven years ago. We got the, the opportunity to be down there together. And Dan and I, of course, uh, did the, the men's game about, what was it, five years ago? Yeah. Time flies, yeah, doesn't it? It certainly does. And uh, now another chance to go to the hallowed baseball field. It might even be called the home of Billy Joel soon. 3-2 Northeastern leads. Wildcats come into the zone. Kelleher, but no puck possession. It comes back the other way. Here's Gaudette into the Wildcats zone. Left wing side being chased towards the boards by Maller. Leaves it out to the point. Gaudette tried to flip it in. That's blocked by Kelleher. Salvaggio finds Kelleher now coming into the Northeastern net. Kelleher, bottom of the right circle, behind the net. Shea is on him, and Shea steals it away. Nice job by the freshman defenseman. Yeah, Shea has played Tyler Keller very solidly here tonight. Here's Shul looking for a lead pass. Gaudet, he tried to blindly backhand it, but he swiped and missed that as it came in. A tester from the left side from Shul. Taroni able to close out there along the far post. Puck pressed into the far corner. Dug out by Gaudet, gets into the circle. Wise disrupts the play. Gaudet still battles. The second line center goes behind the net. Wise staples him against the boards. Puck loose. Kelleher will dig it out. Look for some assistance here as the Huskies peel out. And it's McNicholas at center. He crosses the red line and dumps into the northeastern end. Yeah, everybody in the Wildcats uniform, they needed to peel out too as they were dead tired out there. 
Under eight to play in the period. Van Riemsdyk takes down Ashton Reach, and here's Blackburn the other way for UNH. Blackburn across the line right wing, stops at the circle, surveys, drops it to Grasso, looking in front for Van Riemsdyk. Too much congestion, it's broken up. Boy, impressive how Northeastern got so many players back, disrupting any kind of play Blackburn was going to try to make. All right, Marks takes a hit, but keeps hold of the puck to loss his stick. Cats unable to clear, it's held in. Cockrell from the right side at the point, plays off the kick plate right corner. Cleland gets there first. Looking for Blackburn, stretches out, can't get to it. It's Stevens in the high slot. Stevens veers to the left point, drops it back. It's thrown in by Davies, shot saved. Tironi left a juicy rebound there, and Rosenthal took a swipe at it, but it goes wide. Sakira curls from right to left, moves to the left point, and wraps it in behind the net. Too far for Pond. Van Riemsdyk at the near wall will clear it to center. Huskies get onside, then Davies throws it in. The carom comes to the half wall right, and Cleland before absorbing a hit. A nice pass to Vela at center ice. Marcus Vela into the zone right wing. Looks deep for Nazarian. Nazarian can't get by Owens. Owens for Northeastern, near side of the D. Plays off the glass. Vela pinching in along the wall. For the moment, it's pressed along the near boards. Dawson trying to join the play. Iserman as well. No one can dig it out as of yet, and it comes to center ice. Pond. Just play it back to Owens, and Owens goes far side Davies. 3-2 Huskies, 6.20 to go. Second period. From the red line, a shot put in by Davies. Taroni able to stop and wait for Dawson. He'll drop it for the defenseman. Chanter ahead to Nazarian. Nazarian gaining some steam. Comes across the northeastern line right wing and backhands in the corner. Chased after it. Scoops it to the near wall, and there's a penalty coming up against Northeastern. As going down hard into the boards is Iserman. I haven't seen him get up yet. He's slowly making his way up. Maybe the toughest guy pound for pound of that Wildcat team is Shane Iserman. Yeah, and he just got stapled against the boards there. High sticking call, just two minutes. As, uh, well, he went hard over towards the board. And, uh, ooh, well, uh, the high sticking, I'm not, I don't know. It's, it, it is definitely a penalty. He hit, uh, he hit Iserman as he was in that position that is very dangerous when you're heading towards the boards. Nice to see Aaron Nazarian come, come into the play and staple the next guy there. And Sam Kirker, senior out of Reading Mass, is the one that's going to be sitting down. This is at 13.55 of the second, the first Unitil power play for the Wildcats. Unitil energy for life. Wildcats scored in their first four power play opportunities at Brown last Sunday in that 7-4 win. Northeastern able to send the puck down the ice and Kelleher finds Salvaggio. Salvaggio breaks in left side, but he couldn't control as Aston Reese was hounding him behind the net. It's Salvaggio to Kelleher left wing. Kelleher to the circle, spins to the mid slot. Right circle, McNicholas back to Kelleher, fans on his bed. Here's Cleveland from the high slot. He scores! No, no, and hit the crossbar. Ah, man, so close. All right, back out to Kelleher right side. Kelleher. Drops it down, McNicholas holds in the circle. Across to Cleland, who just missed tying the game up. High slot, Kelleher. McNicholas one-timer, save made by Ryan Ruck. I thought, Peter, I thought. <laughs> well, a lot of people thought, too. And in fact, I think the referees may actually go take a look at this. As, oh, we see Ryan Ruck is down on the ice in a strange position, and they're calling for a trainer to come out there. I don't know if he pulled something. But the Benedetto is going to take a look at this shot by Cleland that rang off the crossbar. I don't think it went in. Kelleher was the initial target on that pass, but then it uh, rang underneath the referee right on the line. We're going to have a little delay here with uh, Ruck down and out. But uh, we got a chance to see the replay in the high def video board. Yeah, this is a tough spot. Ryan Ruck still sitting down, so we'll, we'll take a timeout here. 5.16 left in the period, An official review. I think, Pete, you're right, though. That shot from Cleland appeared to hit the crossbar from the naked eye and go straight down, not only the naked eye, but the high def replay. So the Cats are still on a Unitil power play. They have a minute 12. We're not sure what the Ryan Ruck situation will be when we get back, but currently it's Northeastern 3, UNH 2, with 5.16 left in the second period. You're tuned to Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Now it's four, right? You 
seems like the two longest reigning referees in Hockey East. Lots of spicy overhead. Bank. Oh, so close and yet so far. All right, you know it's close when on the overhead replay you lose sight of the puck. It was directly under the yep. crossbar, but yep. never did cross the line. So after video review, we stay 3-2. And the good news is Ryan Ruck is okay, and he's still between the pipes of the Huskies, who have this lead with a minute remaining on the Unitil power play with Sam Kirker in the box. Wildcats will still try to get the equalizer. Grasso along the right boards. He gets shoved aside on a back check from Pond. Here's Cleland in the high slot. Drops it off for Kelleher. Kelleher walks in, his shot save right in the bread basket, and a face off upcoming. Yeah, Ke uh, Kelleher looking to go five hole there, but Ruck got down pretty quickly, so he looks back to his nimble self. Wildcats still have 45 seconds, and that little delay gave the Wildcats' first power play unit enough time to rest, and they may be able to go the whole way here on this power play. Get the face off to the left of the goaltender. McNicholas takes the face off. Cats win it. Back to Cleveland right point. Kelleher along the left wing. Edge of the circle. Spins away from Stevens. Silvaggio back to Kelleher at the hash marks. Silvaggio one-timer. Save made right between the pads by Ryan Ruck, and he'll hold on. Yeah, that was the same setup the Wildcats used against Brown with Kelleher midway down in the zone on the left wing side and setting up Salvaggio right in the center crease area. Midway, right in between the two face-off dots. This time the goalie made the save. Kelleher, left circle, goes across the way. McNicholas settles it down, looking for Grasso. Kelleher shot, and that one might have been tipped. It looked like he had a wide open net. Back to Cleland. All kinds of players sprawling out, laying out, trying to deny Kelleher. Not sure who got a piece, if anyone. Kelleher, right circle. There's a stick right in front of the uh, crease. Out to Cleland, goes across the way. McNicholas looking in front for Grasso. Takes a swipe at it, and the puck ends up under the pads of Ruck again. I think that Kelleher bid hit the outside of the post. Oh. So that could just, just heartbreak in there to hit pipe twice on the power play when you're down by a goal. Got a chance to see it right here and watch this. It's gonna ding right off the outside of the wow. post. Oh, puck on pipe in the evening. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't. Profound. Stevens and Davies were the two players sprawling over because the netminder, Ruck, was out of position and Kelleher had his eyes on a tying goal. Three seconds remaining on this Unitil power play. Face off to Ruck's left. And the Huskies have it. Look clear of the zone to center ice and just out of the box. Look what I found. It's on the stick of Kirker. And the Wildcat end Collier. Back to Kirker. Quick one timer with a forehand and Tyrone the save. The carom comes out to Eiserman. Eiserman into the northeastern zone. He's got Vela to his right. A sliding defensive play by Owen slows it down. Along the left half of boards, it's Eiserman with 3.40 remaining in the period. Backhand looking for Vela. Goes in the right corner. Vela trying to fend off Eric Williams. Nazarian there. Eiserman back to Nazarian. A quick snapper from the bottom of the right circle. That goes wide on the near side. Wise throws one through traffic. That goes to the right corner. Rebound Maller, who holds in right point. Behind the net, Nazarian. Nazarian taken down as he collapses. So does Williams. Play continues. Vela, behind the northeastern net, tries to tuck in on a backhand from the far post. That got redirected high in the air. Wise goes after it. His backhand bid. That one deflected high above the net. And Wildcats are hounding the crease, but they can't find a way by Ruck. And out come the Huskies. Two on one potentially. Kirker comes in, his pass across the way. Connection not made to Philippe. And out to center ice, chance for the Wildcats. Grasso comes in right side, looking to go around Shea. Puck behind the net, and Sasir is there. Maybe the Huskies will slow it down a bit, but there has been much slow action tonight. Huskies missed this connection. This goes down the ice. Icing's been waved off. Cleland across to Marks and back to Matias, right behind his own net. Two and a half to go. In the second, 3-2 Northeastern. Grasso from the far boards. Rink wide, hits off the dasher and goes behind the goal line. No icing here either, as the Huskies could have played it. It's in the left faceoff circle. Grasso tries to chip at it. Blackburn has it, whirls and fires one that missed short side. And it's cleared out. 
Uh, Wildcats getting all kinds of good opportunities, good bids. Another set up there for Blackburn, and they just can't get it by Rock. And Reamsdyke gets a piece and dumps into the northeastern end. Cephalu looked the backhand towards Fergona, but Gil uh, Gaudet got in the way. And up ice, Adam Gaudet. Crossover move by Hill, nicely done. Continues to possess, works to Shul right wing. Shul centering feed, intercepted by Maller. Comes up to the near wall and plays it behind the net to Wise. Anthony Wise break out along the far side. Secura steps there in front of the red line near the penalty box. Secura comes into the zone along the left wing. His pass comes all the way across to Cockerell, right point. Cockerell, deep pass comes to Secura. Secura curls right and on the cycle to Stevens. Return pass for Secura, redirected out to the left point, Davies. Davies centers for Stevens. Stevens in the high slot. Works at right circle, Secura. Back for Stevens. Aston Reese there. Stevens out in front. Secure and he missed what high. He was walking in and he lifted it above the crossbar. Some great passing though from that top line up Northeastern. Davies fakes the slapper shot. Hit hits the post, the far post. So Northeastern gets some pipe here. Hill, cross ice pass over to Cephalu. Cephalu sends one in from just outside the blue line and this will lead to a face off with 49 seconds remaining in the second period. Great news for all you pizza lovers. Papa John's would like to offer all fans listening to today's game 50% off all online orders at participating Papa John's locations in New Hampshire for the next week. Just use the online promo code WILDCATS50. That's WILDCATS50 when ordering pizza at papajohns.com. Enjoy and thanks to Papa John's. Face off to the left of Ruck. Wildcats can't clear the zone. Instead, it comes the other way. A break for Collier. Collier spins, and a great back check by Salvaggio, diving to deny the pass for Kirker. And it leads to Kelleher the other way. Kelleher going one on three into the zone left wing side. He'll backhand behind the net, McNicholas. McNicholas looking to play it in front. Salvaggio's there. It's batted around. Still loose in the low slot. Great job by McNicholas after Salvaggio's terrific play on the defensive end. Huskies. Nice outlet from Collier. Finds Gaudet, his shot. That caught a piece of Cleveland's leg in the left corner with 10 seconds remaining in this action-packed second period. Huskies with a one-goal lead looking for more. Shot from the right circle by Gaudet. Save Taroni. Marks gets to it. Marks the outlet. Gets Kelleher at center ice. Kelleher will just hold on as the final horn sounds here at the end of the second period. And Northeastern on Zach Aston Reese's second goal of the game. Built a two-goal lead, only to see Jason Salvaggio respond. It's 3-2 to two after two. And when we come back to the Whittemore Center, we'll have our second Bud Light intermission show. Bud Light, a proud partner of Wild at Wildcat Hockey, reminding fans, stay in the game and drink responsibly. You're listening to Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.
They played Providence, number 19, twice, and then they played Minnesota, number 11, and Boston College, number 3. If that doesn't toughen you up and make you a better team, I don't know what will. Oh, and then they started uh, December with their first game in December against number four, Boston College. So nine games in a row against those ranked teams. This might be a battle-tested team, and it might work well for Northeastern in the third period. UNH best better know about that and know what kind of jump in their step that Northeastern is looking for to solidify this game here in the third. Ryan Ruck was a freshman a year ago. His career started with a record of 0-9-2. His final 26 starts, he went 22-4 and as Northeastern was the turnaround team of the year, went on to win the Hockey East Championship. So UNH knew coming in that this record was misleading and they've been tested. They lost by one last week to UMass Lowell on home ice. Now we go to the third period. Cats have to erase a one goal deficit. They're going from left to right here in the final period of regulation. Cameron Marks has it along the end boards. He loses it, though. Puck ends up to Taroni's right. He can't grasp it. Blackburn will get to it behind the net. Held in by Northeastern at the right point as Cockerell kept in, but good fight by Grasso and Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk will wrap it in left to right. On the near wall, it's Davies. Grasso, Blackburn ends up in the right circle. Van Riemsdyk took a shot. Blackburn came in, bottom of the right circle, put one on net. Save is made by Ruck in front. Grasso shot save. Goaltender's down, but the rebound comes all the way to the high slot. Cleveland try to blind pass for Marks. It comes out of the zone, and a lot of Wildcats have to touch up. Well, last Friday against uh, UMass Lowell in the second two periods, the River Hawks goaltender Wall kept them in it. Well, Ruck is being a story right here, right now. It's start of the third period. The net goes off. It's Moorings. Gaudette tried a centering feed for Lincoln Griffin. He went right through the crease, right through the net. And that'll bring a face off. 58 seconds into the third. We've already seen end-to-end -end action, which has been the case here. If you want to see action at the Whittemore Center, a couple dates to keep in mind. Saturday, January 28th, Family Hockey Day, shirt off your back night as the Wildcat players will have some uniforms auctioned off. And then February 3rd, Friday night against Boston College. Some giveaways, some fun. Tickets available at unhwildcats.com. Off the faceoff, puck goes behind Taroni. He's looking over his left shoulder as it's batted around. As Shule is over there, comes out to Shea, left point. Shea on the wing, gives to Gaudette. Gaudette back to Shea in the high slot. Backhand feed, Gaudette left circle. He moves in deeper. Cut off by Maller, so he backpedals, looks to center. Intercepted by Maller. He's played well tonight. Ahead, Kelleher, McNicholas, right back to Kelleher. Right side is shot, tipped by Shea, and it goes out of play above the glass and behind the net. Uh, Tyler Kelleher is going to be uh, going to be seeing Ryan Shea in his sleep. Shea has played defense against Tyler Kelleher so well tonight. Tyler with a little give and go pass out at center ice, hoping to spring Keller Kelleher coming down the right wing side, but Shea stick got in the way of the shot. Vela will take the face off against Philippe to the left of Ruck. Chanter attempting to keep in, but the four check of Kirker brings it up to center ice. Wildcats pounce quickly. Nazarian comes across. Nazarian tripped up by Kirker. Pucks that ends up in the blue paint and is gloved down by Ruck. Another face off here with 18-13 left in the third. 3-2 Huskies. Yeah, I think uh, stick handling is a tough thing here in the third period because I think this ice surface is rutted up pretty good being, being warm in here and soft, being warm throughout the day. I came in here into the Whittemore Center and it was 56 degrees. And that does a number and you just see some of the carved ruts out there in the ice here in the third period. Off the face off, Grasso with a quick wrister but that goes wide. He's trying to go stick side on Ruck. These two teams will have to deal with some interesting ice conditions when they play at Fenway Park Saturday at five but indeed uncharacteristically warm this time of year. Is a shot from the right wing, saved by pa uh, Danny Taroni as it came in from the right side, triggered by Secura, who has such a quick release. Van Riemsdyk gets a stick and ends up tripping. Cockerell, no call on it, goes to Blackburn. Blackburn trying to work into the Northeastern zone, but the numbers game forces it back to center. Grasso gets to it across the line. Gives to Blackburn right corner. Blackburn chases after it. Puck along the end boards. And dug out of there by John Stevens. Stevens to center ice. Puck sent into the Wildcat zone. Marks will get to it. He goes D to D, far side, Cleveland. 
Lead pass stretches to Eiserman. Eiserman across the line, left wing. Looking for Vela in front. Vela charges in, but the puck ends up under the pads of Ryan Rock along the near post. Oh, nice little attempt there with Marcus Vela going hard to the net. Bearing down the right side, looking for that little pass. I like the way the Wildcats stretch it out of their own end, almost to the far blue line. Opens things up, gets the Northeastern defense back a little bit. Off the face off in the right circle. Wildcats can't control. So it's Owens who's in the near boards to clear it down the ice. Maller on it. He'll wrap it to the far wall. Stepping though to take it away is Kirker. Kirker at the right hash marks. Bottom of the circle, plays a right out in front. Nice pass for Philippe in the crease, but Philippe could not get it on his tape. Back to Owens, left point. Works at far point right. That's Williams. Williams can't hold in as it just came out of the zone. Face off will come outside the Wildcat line. 16.45 to go in the third. We've seen a number of whistles here early in this third period. A far cry from the first couple of stances. <laughs> yeah, the first period seemed like it was forever before we had a whistle. I thought we were going to get one on an icing call. And there was no call there. And the Wildcats uh, wrapped the puck around the boards. And there was a Husky on the far side at the half wall. Kept it in, and that's where that whole flurry came from. Gaudet's been chased from the faceoff. Nicholas instead against Shule, and Shule wins this one back to his own line. Shea gives to Gaudet. Gaudet across the center ice logo, gains the Wildcat line. Shovel pass right side, Shule. Behind the net, Gaudet. Gaudet trying to work free from Chanter. Plays it right in front, Shule. He got tripped up, got a stick on it, lifted it high in the air. And over to the far board, Salvaggio. And once he touches it, let's see, there's a hand pass call. Yep. So a whistle. 16-26 to go in the third. Still 3-2 Northeastern. Now we're talking about Northeastern schedule. What a wacky schedule they have. They have only one home game in the month of January. This is the third in a row on the road. They've got the neutral game on Saturday. A home game against Merrimack. And then three more on the road. Quite a road stretch for them. Come in tied for 10th, Wildcats tied for 5th. Huskies win the face off in the Wildcat zone in the right corner, Rosenthal. Out it comes to the high slot, Shea throws one through traffic. It got redirected off the stick of Pond, but it's wide. Pond goes after it along the half boards right side. Chanter wraps him up. Chanter lost his stick, but he's still working hard on the check on Pond, and Pond gets tripped over the stick. Comes to the near side, Huskies control. Shea left point. Shea works it. Here's a one-time blast. Chanter got in the way again. He lost his stick again. On that blast and the right point from Cecier. Wildcat transition. Salvaggio stood up at the Northeastern line. And a stoppage and an offside with 15.48 to go. In the third, Huskies three, Wildcats two. This is Wildcat hockey from Learfield. Wildcats, good puck possession in the northeastern zone. Cleveland had thrown one in that Grasso redirected toward the net. But now the Huskies the other way. They have an opportunity. Griffin's right out in front, but the pass can't get to him as getting back was Marks to slow down the feed attempt from Gaudet and what looked like a two-on-one. We stay with 15-10 remaining third period. Huskies on top 3-2. Shul coming off the right wing boards. Sends to the right point. A pass across near side. Owens works it up the wall. Gaudet left half wall. Cleveland. Checks him against the boards. And the Cats will dig it out. Blackburn center ice Van Riemsdyk. Grasso back to Van Riemsdyk. Trying to work free along the far wall. Nazarian joins the play, takes the puck away left side. Nazarian curls out in front. But too many Huskies there. He's dispossessed of the puck by Gaudet. Williams plays it behind his own net. Giving chase in the back check is Shane Eiserman. Eiserman takes it away. Goes across the way. Nazarian. He's got Fellow there. The, refer the uh, netminder's down. The puck is behind the net, though, as the Cats nearly come up with a pretty goal. Another great takeaway by the Wildcats on the heavy four check. Set up nicely, and they just can't get the handle and put it in into the net. Huskies play it off the end boards behind Taroni. Works out to the left wing wall. Scramble there. Iserman, Aston Reese, Stevens all in the play. 
Davies can't keep in as Eisman works around him. Here comes Shane Eisman on the rush right side. Hits the brakes at the faceoff. That shot save made as he attempted to go five hole. Shane Eisman, a serious shift right there. A couple of big time plays on either end of the ice, but it stays 3 2 Northeastern. As Shane showing his deceptive speed, beating the defenseman out at the center, center zone area. And Boy, what a nice feed we're seeing on the overhead for uh, Patrick Grasso down low, just not able to make it happen. Maybe it was Marcus Vela down there. Oh, it was uh, Nazarian, sorry. But boy, Shane Eisman with a little burst of speed got the opening. The defense tried to recover. He got the bid off, just uh, went right to the belly. Three on two for Northeastern, but they're unable to keep it on side. So we'll have a face off outside the UNH zone. 13 52 remaining in the third. 3 2 Northeastern. Shots in the third. UNH with a 4 2 advantage and in the game overall. Wildcats a 23 22 lead in shots on net. Uh, this is where the Wildcats really need to find it here. They got to find somebody who's going to make that play to tie this game up and try to start talking on the bench, play your best, uh, you know, 14 minutes going down the stretch here that you can ever play. Try to get a goal or two to win this game. You've motivated me, Peter. Let's hope that works for the Wildcats as well. Puck goes in the left wing corner. Wise delivers a big shot on Philippe, and that will help get the puck to center ice. To jolt some energy into his teammates, the freshman Anthony Wise, having himself a great first year on the Wildcat Blue Lock. Dylan Maller, the senior, flips to center. Grasso gets to it. Looking in the corner, Van Riemsdyk. Riemsdyk will chip it forward to the left corner. Blackburn on it, along the left half boards. It's taken away from him by Kirker, and it's back to center ice. Cleland controls at the red line. Tried to thread the needle to Grasso, stolen by Kirker. Kirker from the right side, there's a drive in, and Taroni makes the stop. We'll have another face off. Yeah, see, there was a freshman play along the boards there with a freshman line out there. He just, I think it was Blackburn. Blackburn, you just got to turn around, and you, if you can't get it to the point right away, get it down deep, put it along the boards. Well, he had no back pass, and then he wasn't quick enough to turn it down on the boards, and it was taken away, and here come the Huskies real quickly in their transition game. Face off to the left of Danny Taroni. It's... Grabbed by Northeastern, the loose puck dumped it by Secura, actually hit the linesman. He's back up, pucks along the half board, Secura, and Cleland in a scrum for it. Salvaggio joins the play. Cleland feeds Salvaggio in the center zone. He turns and dumps it in. On it first is Jeremy Davies, who's at the near glass to clear it. Marks will have to hustle back to his own zone, but Aston Reese is right on him. Aston Reese in the corner, leaves it for Stevens, left circle. Plays it just off the side of the net, goes behind the... Cage, left wing, Aston Reese turns, fires in from the bottom of the circle. Initial save, Taroni left the rebound in the crease, but he's able to hold on before Northeastern could pounce. Yeah, a little joust by Aston Reese and Jason Salvaggio just outside the far face off dot. Boy, you have to know that uh, when that line for Northeastern is out there, they're going to make you pay if you don't play the puck quick enough. Wildcats just a little hesitant on that. Aston Reese takes over that puck, wheels it around, comes out of nowhere. You must play the puck very fast against that crafty, quick line. Tanner Pond waits in the faceoff circle against McNicholas to Taroni's right. And Chanter controls it, uses the near boards to feed to Kelleher. Here comes the senior. Cross to McNicholas. McNicholas trying to play it further on towards Salvaggio, but it's broken up and back to center ice. Off the near dasher, Pond. Pond comes in left wing, looking to center. Plays it out in front, redirected back towards the net. And here come the Wildcats. Keller chips it forward only as far as the northeastern line. Davies plays it right back to the neutral zone. Chanter will feed it to the Huskies' end, but there are no Wildcats there as the Cats have peeled off. We're eight minutes in to the third period, 3-2 in favor of Northeastern. It's Shule coming across the line, but Chanter takes the puck away from him nicely. Looking for Kelleher, Shule steals it right back. Shule to the Wildcat zone right wing. Wise fends him off. Puck gets played down behind the net. Looking for Griffin. On the far wall, it's Jamie Hill. Hill comes all the way to the northeastern end. Dumps in, chases after it behind the net. Tried to give a check to Owens, but missed the delivery. Fragona fights to keep it in on the four check left side. And out to center ice, Gaudette. Gaudette comes across near side, Griffin. Griffin back to Owens, tried to play it in. Blocked down by Matt Dawson. Taken back by Gaudet, left corner, plays it out in front. Shul, a shot, point blank range, but there's Danny Taroni for a save. Yeah, there's the quickness of Gaudet. Uh, you know, Matt Dawson hesitated just a little bit and 
Godet was right there to take the puck away and set it up for his line mate. All right, fast shot on net. Just have to be so much quicker as uh, Northeastern hounding the puck in the Wildcat end. Left face-off circle for this face-off in the Wildcat defensive zone. Nazarian and Philippe, the old teammates, battle for it. And it's controlled by the Wildcats. Near boards, Chanter out to center ice. Williams has it at his own blue line. Goes far side, Owens back to Williams, near circle. Owens skates out of his own zone to center ice and then lifts it high in the air. Smacks off the Happy Bodies logo on the boards in the left wing corner. Philippe and Nazarian joining in there and chipping at it is Chanter. Owens holds in left point, plays up the wall. Near the hash marks, Kirker uses the end boards for a pass behind the net. Philippe, Philippe looking to go near side, backhand, tried to stuff it in, denied. Wise plays it to the far boards. Chanter trying to chip it up the wall. He takes the hit. He's got a headlock on Kirker. The puck's along the half wall and taken away by Northeastern. Huskies maintain possession. Dumped to the near corner by Philippe. Vela will play it deeper for Wise. Wise using the end wall to complete a pass to Chanter. Headman feed Vela, backhand nicely to Nazarian coming into the zone. Nazarian right circle, whirls in his forehand. Shot did not make it through. Goes all the way to the far corner. Iserman will back off a bit, and then this gives some space for Stevens to breathe. Midway through the third, 3-2 Northeastern. Nobody has found the back of the net here in the third. Stevens has it taken away at the red line by the freshman Blackburn. Blackburn comes in right wing side. Being hounded by Secura on the back check. Marks, left point Cleveland all alone. Tried to flip it in front. Blocked down by Aston Reese. Marks right side. He throws one in. Glove save made by Ruck. In the right wing corner, Van Riemsdyk. Blackburn, they're getting a lot of ice time here in this third period. Cessary goes behind the net with the pass, and he's able to collect to Williams, and it's sent out of the zone. Yeah, that last shot from the point by the Cats, it was deflected by Brendan Van Riemsdyk. A part of his game that's really developing here in the second half of his freshman year. Cleland works it to Van Riemsdyk, and he'll touch it so there's no icing as it goes into the northeastern end. Grasso on the four check, gets a piece of it. Blackburn as well, both trying to take it away from Shea. Blackburn goes down. The puck still being battled for along the near side half wall. Shea controls and plays it to center ice. He may have a connection here. Racing into the right side behind the defense was Pond. A check it, it's Rosenthal. A shot denied by Taroni from the right circle as Ryan Rosenthal had snuck in behind everybody. Shea, right point. Tries to throw in. Blocked down by Salvaggio. Leads it to McNicholas at center. Back to Salvaggio, left wing. Salvaggio sends one into the right wing corner. No one there for the carom as the catch were in the middle of a change. Jamison gets to the red line and then fires it down. <laughs> Wise behind his own net. Avoids the hit of Pond. Well, he, he avoided it, but a stick took the brunt of the hit. He'll have to retreat that. Chanter at center ice for Kelleher. Kelleher back to Chanter. Crowded around the northeastern line. Cockrell behind his own net. Takes a check from Salvaggio. Salvaggio has it. Off the left wall. Wise. Wise plays it in front. It goes wide of the net. McNicholas is stationed out in the doorstep. Kelleher controls right of the circle. Down to eight minutes to play here in the third. Kelleher behind the net. He gets taken down hard by Davies. And a breakout for Northeastern. Three on two. Into the zone. Gaudet left side. Gaudet shot forehand. Save made by Taroni. Rebound handled by Chanter. Long head man feed misses Van Riemsdyk. And it's a nice 7.47 left in the third. 3-2 Northeastern. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Face off to the right of Danny Taroni with 7.46 left. Wildcats trailing at 3-2. They win this face off. Van Riemsdyk gets to center ice, flips it along the far wall. He'll get to the puck in the corner. But the Huskies have numbers back there, so it's stolen back by Eric Williams and back to center ice. Marks feed. Van Riemsdyk couldn't handle it. Shea works it to Williams, near side defensive circle. Out to center ice and right into the Wildcat zone. 
That's where Cameron Marks gets it along the end boards. Far side, Matias Cleland. Captain lead pass. Hits Nazarian. Nazarian will flip a bouncing puck to the right wing corner. Vela gets to it along the half boards. Plays it in deeper. Nazarian pinned up by Williams. Nazarian trying to come off the wall. Iserman there as well. Behind the net with it. Comes to the left wing. Over to Cleland on the pass. Cleland moves to the center point and lost it to Secura. Secura, rink-wide pass for Shea. He'll chip it into the Wildcat zone. Marks back there in his own zone. Works to Vela near side boards. Vela at center ice. Diagonal pass. Hits Iserman. Here's a slapper and a save made by Ruck. Came in from the left side. Shane Eisenman, who's been playing well, but the Cats just can't break through. They still trail Northeastern 3-2. We've got 6.40 remaining, third period. And you're listening to Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Wentworth Douglas Hospital in Dover, New Hampshire is the Seacoast leading medical center and the official hospital of UNH Athletics. Learn more about their locations, services, and health centers by visiting www.wdhospital.com. I'm Mike Murphy. He's Pete Webster. Glad you're with us on this Thursday night. Hockey East action. Wildcats trailing Northeastern 3-2. Same two teams will square off again in the season finale between the two. and That will be Saturday at 5 o'clock at Fenway Park in Boston, 4.30 airtime. That game was moved up earlier this week in case you missed it. Originally scheduled for 7.30. But folks want to make sure fans could watch the hockey. Part of a doubleheader, as a matter of fact, at Fenway on Saturday. So it should be a good take. Yeah, I'll be down there for just about all of the first game, too, myself, I think. And team heads down tomorrow. Wildcats will practice at Fenway. There'll be a press conference. So I'm looking forward to getting down there on the field and seeing the guys in action. Face off to the right of Ryan Ruck. Cats win this draw. Grasso, left wing, turns, fires, he scores! Patrick Grasso, top shelf with the equalizer. We're at 3-3 with 6.37 left in the third. That's what the doctor ordered. A good face-off win deep in the northeastern zone. Won by Liam Blackburn right to the top of the face-off circle and through a screen. Go high on Ruck, that might be the book, and that's what Patrick Grasso does with a nice wrist shot. Gets the water bottle hopping over the top of the goal, and the Cats have it tied up at 3-all. Grasso entered, tied for first in the nation among freshmen in goal scored. He breaks that tie here with his 13th of the year, and we're at 3-3. Cats on the pounce again, moving in left side. Grasso, his shot tipped off the stick of defenseman Garrett Cockrell and out of play. Grasso injecting some life into the building. And uh, what fans are here, at, uh, they enjoy that. Wildcats come back, they need to make it complete now and they gotta play six minutes and 28 seconds of their best hockey. Can't give anything to the uh, Huskies, especially their top line. Blackburn wins the face off. Bra again, Grasso tried to send one in, but that was a tough angle, too many bodies, so it goes to the right corner. Secura behind the goal line pass. Some hard hitting going on down there. Here's the dangerous Aston Reese coming across ice for Shea. Shea is on side left wing. Marks cuts him off at the pass. Pass goes up top. Shul. Shul from the high slot. Pass redirected. Left side. Shakura shot. Diving save. Taroni from the left side. Danny Taroni went sprawling to his right to Stonewall Dylan Shakura. Stevens keeps in. Goes behind the net. Taroni leaves it for Cleland. Under six minutes remaining. In the third period, we're tied at three. Cleveland stretch pass Van Reemsdijk. They'll just chip it forward to the Husky zone and go to the bench for a change. Great piece of goaltending by Danny Taroni. The follow-up diving across the crease. Turns it aside. Speedy Adam Gaudet into the zone left wing side. Gaudet turns the corner right side. Goes all the way to the half board. Still controls it. Curls back towards the middle. Leaves it right wing. Here's a slapper from Cockrell that got through. Nearly a rebound opportunity for Shul. On the back side of that play, instead it's Kelleher who comes away with it. Tyler Kelleher trying to steer it by Jeremy Davies, but Davies controls the other way. 
Gaudet with his own left wing. Good stick check by Chanter. Shul though, and Gaudet keep it in. Gaudet coming off the left wing boards, moves to the slot. Here's a one timer from the right side. That got blocked by Kelleher, I believe, on the bid right side. Now it's actually Salvaggio who's struggling to get over to the bench now. That one stung. All right, Griffin along the near side boards. We'll leave it on the center to Cockrell. Cockrell, pass on side to Kirker. Kirker comes in, bid, save to Roney, rebound onto the Vela. Vela along the far boards, gets it to center ice, but good hustle on the back check by Philippe. Philippe works it near side. And coming across is Williams. Williams left wing. Four and a half to go, third period. UNH three, Northeastern three. Cats having it with Vela at center ice. And Vela will play it in the right wing corner. Four check by Nazarian against Shea in the right wing corner. Now it goes to the far side. Struggle for the puck and Suzel on the left half wall. Nazarian blew a tire and we get a whistle. And the fans have been calling for it. <laughs> the net was off its pegs for a long time. Good job by the Cat Pack student section to make everybody alert. I, th I thought they were just yelling at the goalie the whole time. They were going at it for a good minute. <laughs> All right, students, the Cat Pack section. All about fan participation here at the Whittemore Center. Be part of the action. We're back at the Wit January 27th and 28th against Providence, including family night on the 28th and shirt off your back promotion. Find out more at unhwildcats.com. I just saw that replay of the diving save. It was on the shot by Dylan Sakura. Off the faceoff, here's Grasso looking for another one. A quick snapper from inside that left circle, and Ryan Ruck. Makes the stop. Now trying to go up over the shoulder again of Ruck. Not enough leverage there to get it up over as Ruck down in his crouch, down low, leaving the upstairs exposed. Grasso just needed to get that about three or four inches higher. Another face off to Ruck's right. That's where the Cats have done some damage. Here's Grasso again, chopping at it. Can't put this one on net. It's back to Cleveland at the point. They'll play it behind the net. Blackburn. Blackburn gets wrapped up there by Sasir. Out to the point, Cleland. Near point right, Marks. Marks holds, plays to the right wing corner. Goes off the kick plate. Cesaire goes down. Blackburn there as well. Takes a shove from Shea. And the puck broken out to the far side of the rink. Cleland will get there for the Wildcats and back into his own zone. Over to Marks. Marks to Cleland. Cleland at center ice. He'll drive it in. Wraps behind the net. Kelleher along the left half wall. Takes a check from Shea. McNicholas, goal line extended. He'll take a hit from Stevens. Stevens and Shea combined. Cats battle on the four check. Nice touch pass by Kelleher behind the net. McNicholas, backhand feed. Kelleher looking in front for Silvaggio. Can't thread it. Comes to the corner. Kelleher stick came up and appeared to strike Stevens in the face. Over to Wise, left wing boards. Plays it off the end wall. Kelleher looking in front. Silvaggio fans on a one-time bid. And it's at center ice. Yeah, I think maybe the uh, referees, uh, these... Uh Two longtime referees in hockey. He's may have put their whistles away a little bit. McNicholas looking for Wise and a return pass as Wise was crashing toward the net. And it comes to the near wall, and Northeastern will come out the other way. We're down to 240 left in the 3 3 game. Gaudet got stood up by Chanter. Puck ends up in the left wing corner of the Wildcat zone. Griffin on it. Back to Davies at the point. Goes across the way, but he comes out of the zone on his pass. That forces Cockerell to back up. They're back on side, so Davies crosses into the UNA zone left wing. Leaves for Gaudet, Hashmark. Centering feed, Cockrell tries to play it in deeper. Vela got a stick on it, Chanter has the takeaway. Dylan Chanter, lead pass, Vela at center. Vela across the line, Vela walking in. He's got Eiserman shot, and that one goes just wide. Eiserman right side, curls back to the high slot. There's an errant stick there, Cleland the slapper, redirected by Vela, and he scores! The Wildcats are in front for the first time all night. It's 4-3 to three with 2.04 to go. 57 minutes and 56 seconds it took for the Wildcats to get the lead, but they have done it here with dog and determination in the third period deep in the northeastern end. Looks like Marcus Vela deflects that puck home right in front of Ryan Ruck as... Uh, who else was in there? Nazarian was in there. May have gotten shoved down to the ice. Puck ends up in the back of the net. No question about it. Stay fans, don't go. 
The Wildcats have the lead here, 204 remaining in the third. T.S. Cleland is 24th assist of the year. He's been the top scoring defenseman from assist a perspective, and that one gives the Cats the lead. Yeah, it's still two minutes left here. This is far from over, but what a turnaround here. Wildcats need to seal the deal. Shea's pass, looking for Kirker, chipping it forward on the far side is Cameron Marks. Kept in, though, by Kirker. Backhands behind the net. Cleveland plays it deeper to the far side. Williams keeps in. He turns and wrists one towards the net. It backhanded to the high slot. Van Riemsdyk comes away with it for the Wildcats. He puts one on net from outside the blue line. Save made by Ruck. Van Riemsdyk tries to follow up and backhands in front. But Shea's there for the intercept. Ahead to Shakura. Shakura into the Wildcats zone right wing side. Shakura going around wise. There's another stick loose behind the Wildcat net, and that helps out in this case. Battle on the left wing board. Shakura's got it down low. Shakura goes behind the net. Again, that stick is in his way, but he maintains possession. Works it to Williams' right point. His wrist shot hits off the back wall. Four to three Wildcats, and there's one minute left in the third period. The net is empty for Northeast, and they have the extra attacker, but it comes to Grasso and center ice. His shot, he scores! Empty net goal, Patrick Grasso. He strikes for the second time here in the third, and the Wildcats lead it 5-3 with 56 ticks remaining. Well, I don't know if you even noticed Murph. Uh, Northeastern had pulled their goalie, Ryan Rock, with about a minute and 25 left. He skated over to the... Uh, to the bench, they got the extra attacker out there. Northeastern trying to get the perimeter thing going and a good play along the boards by the Wildcats. Hustling Patrick Grasso wins the puck out at center ice. He wastes no time at all, sliding it down. A good 90 feet into the net and the Wildcats have a two goal lead. And Northeastern is gonna start this face off without Ruck in net, they've got six guys out there ready. They don't care if they lose by two or by three. There's two points in Hockey East on the line. Catch win the faceoff. Keller from his own blue line got tripped up and he gets the puck to the Northeastern line. Davies to Cockrell. Cockrell lead past Stevens. Stevens into the zone. Northeastern again down two at the empty net. They try to play it in front for Aston Reese. Marks cut him off. On the left side board, Stevens, goal line extended. Behind the net, Shakura. Back to Stevens, looking in front. Nice job by McNicholas to block. Ashton Reese, left corner. Down deeper, coming down front looking for Gaudet, who's stationed on the doorstep. Down to 25 seconds and counting. At the point, Cockrell. Along the right side. Here's a shot from Ashton Reese, a forehand bid, save to Roney. Comes back, Salvaggio plays it off the far dasher. He's slowed down by two Huskies at his own line. <laughs> and Northeastern goes back under 10 seconds to play. Kelleher, aggressive forward check. Ashton Reese has it near side, but the final seconds tick away. Taroni gloves the final shot, and the UNH Wildcats, one of their most impressive wins of the year. They rally from a 2-0 deficit against the defending Hockey East champs and come away with a two-goal victory. The final, Peter, 5-3. Uh, last year, Northeastern turned their season around right here with a win against the Wildcats. UNH down by two goals at two different spots during this game. Two to nothing, as you said, Mike, and three to one. Wildcats score four goals in a row to take the W, the two points in Hockey East. Maybe that's a little bit of a statement. This was a good, hard, quality win. 5-3, Wildcats triumph. More to come. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.